New tonight, the Oppenheimer movie has been out for weeks now, and reviews have been mostly positive, but there are some asking for more. NBC 5's Maximus Osborne sat down with a Navy veteran who witnessed atomic blasts. Maximus. Jenna, that's right. His name is Richard Enriquez, and he served as a flight engineer in the 60s, and he was among the many that were affected by nuclear testing. People see sunrise, the, you know, the sun rising, and you see that kind of like an orange ball sometimes in, in a really nice, beautiful sunrise or a sunset. What I see is an atomic blast. Richard Enriquez was on Johnston Island, a few hundred miles southwest of Hawaii. He and many others patrolled the island while nuclear bombs were tested nearby. He says he enjoyed the Oppenheimer movie, but he says he wished there was more acknowledgement of the nuclear testings done by the U.S. and the troops affected by it. We, they still have people in Japan that are suffering, you know, because of birth, birth defects, you know, uh, cancers. And the same thing for atomic veterans. Because, you know, we were placed out there with no protection whatsoever, none at all. Richard tells me he watched nine bombs go off, and years later, he and his family had to deal with the potential effects of radiation. My youngest son was born with one lung. I had colon cancer, and because of my wife, she insisted I get, get a colonoscopy. That's how they found it. And I've gone through four major operations. And, you know, I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. Richard Enriquez is a member of the National Association of Atomic Veterans. These are all veterans who served from 1945 to 1962 and were affected by the radiation of nuclear tests. Richard says that other atomic veterans he has spoken to felt similarly in regards to the Oppenheimer movie. I just I was hoping to see credits uh, about all the testing. Everybody that saw the movie said the same thing. There was never any mention of all the testing that was done after and all the veterans that have suffered from cancers, all the veterans that have died. Richard Enriquez tells me that his health has improved and he's now trying to spread the word of the atomic veterans. You can learn more on our website live in studio. I'm Maximus Osborne for NBC5 News.